It was a battle with not the resolution many wanted. We're talking about five against three, five attorneys for the defendants, which in this case are nine and three for the plaintiffs. Now, the defendants attorneys kept asking the judge to throw away the case because there was not enough evidence. The plaintiff's attorney, Marilena Morales, is asking Judge Oscar Hale for a temporary restraining order to remove the nine candidates from the ballot in the March elections. We told you earlier this week that there were three candidates added to the defendant's list. As of Friday morning, none of them had been served. Attorneys for the nine defendants say this lawsuit shouldn't even be in this court. Marilena Morales represents the plaintiffs. But apparently they're, they're saying that this court uh, doesn't have jurisdiction to hear whether or not they should be on the ballot. Defense attorneys also maintain that each of the nine cases is different and cannot be heard as one. Doug Ray represents defendant Jaime Canales. I've actually never seen a case quite like this before. I've been involved in numerous um, candidate cases like this and as far as I know this is the first one I ever remember where you have multiple candidates going into the same lawsuit against a bunch of other candidates and, and as, as was pointed out there it creates a lot of issues for the judge. In the end Judge Hale decided to leave all the candidates names on the ballot for now. I think that this um, ruling basically tells candidates you don't have to do what you have to do according to the code any way you're going to get on the ballot. Now, Judge Oscar Hale has decided to do another hearing coming up next week on Thursday, and that's going to be talking about on the other legal issues in this case. The hearing will be taking place right here at the 406 District Court at 9 o'clock in the morning. Reporting from the Justice Center, Noraida Negron, Pro 8 News.